hospital now for about five years and I started playing at this particular Manzanita Escaton Care Center um, three and a half years ago. And recently, I think around six months ago, Escaton Foundation allowed us to expand into memory care. So it's been a wonderful opportunity. Um, I think we're in seven different Escaton memory, memory centers at this point. or remember a time um, in their past that they can hold on to. And um, this happens pretty often where I'll be playing a song and they just light up. Uh, you can, it's almost like it's, you can see it in their eyes that they're with me. Um, a couple of weeks ago I was at um, it was Gold River Escaton Memory Care and one of the women there used to be a piano teacher and I was playing Over the Rainbow and I noticed her fingers doing this and I watched and she was playing Over the Rainbow as I was playing with her with her fingers. She knew, remembered the notes. Then she started singing and she would only remember a few words at a time. So I would play it again and she would remember more words. And I probably played it 10 times. And by the time I was finished, she was singing the whole song. And she was playing on her with her fingers. It was it was very touching. And that that's a frequent um, that happens frequently in memory care. Uh, yesterday at Roseville Memory Care, I was playing for a woman, and she has she carries baby dolls, and so I tend to play nursery songs for her: Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Brahms Lullaby, and she'll sing to her babies while I play. Well, I played the Yellow Rose of Texas and she got all excited. She just loved that song. And so I'll try to remember to play that for her again. once or twice, but here, I've been here almost four years now, and I've seen, um, yeah, I get to see people from when they first come in until they, um, some, a lot of them until they pass. Um, one time I was playing, and um, after I played and left the room, this family came up to me and said, I was so grateful to have you here because this was my mom's first night, and it was very hard for me to say goodnight to her, but you played and you put her to sleep and now we can, I can go home knowing that she's in good hands. rhythmic music, music without a steady beat, because as their body is shutting down, we, we're rhythmic creatures, and so we don't, um, we don't want to bring that rhythm to someone who's actively passing. We want to help them let go. However, if there's someone that's in a lot of pain, and um, there's a lot of those patients here too, we try to play very steady rhythmic music because it helps sync their system and it gives them something to hold on to other than the pain that they're feeling. So the foundation has been wonderful and giving us the opportunity. As musicians, we love to play, and it means even more when you can connect and know that you're helping someone, even if it's just helping them get through the day because they're sad or they're physically in pain. And it's also a comfort to families uh, when someone is actively dying. And so it's such a blessing to take to this skill and this thing that we love and actually bring it and have an impact.
believing in music and thank you for knowing that seniors matter.